Do you have a job you absolutely regret applying for? Well, mine was Staples. I worked in the Easy Tech department for about eight months, and I wanted to share a wee bit of story time with you regarding the awesomely horrible experience I had working there, as well as give some tips to the management and potential hires coming in. I have worked real jobs since I was about four years old, flinging papers for the Columbus Dispatch as a paper carrier, then later for the Mount Vernon News. When I went to my career center, I was still delivering papers, but I would quickly switch to working at two different McDonald's in my town. It wasn't to last though, and quickly I found myself bored at McDonald's and in need of a better job. Thankfully, there was a position at my local Staples in the Easy Tech department. Too bad it would take me eight months to realize what a mistake it was to accept the position. For the first three weeks or so, I was on a computer, training and doing various certifications for the company. Even before I left the company, I hadn't completed every training scenario. But after those three weeks, they don't want to pay you just to sit around and do training. Out to the floor I went, my black and green shirt and my shit-eating grin was going to take the world by storm. Until I worked my first whole day under both my supervisor and the store manager. See, at Staples, and of course most places, you have your general employees, your supervisors of each department, assistant managers who manage either sections of the store's departments, or if it's just a small manager, they're essentially a store manager when it needs to be. And then of course you have your store manager. After that, of course, you have more managers and people who really don't matter because they get more than you, but that's just my opinion. See, my supervisor and the store manager were both assholes. See, Chen, my supervisor, thought she was a know-it-all, who actually got one employee demoted and another fired completely outright. She wasn't my favorite, and to this day, isn't. She and I would butt heads for hours while on the clock because we simply disagreed on how computers should be repaired. Most of the time, my methods would be cheaper for the consumer, however worse for the company's bottom line. She, however, was the exact opposite. Mark, the store manager, of course was a man of action. If you were not doing something, you were slacking off and you shouldn't have been paid. That was how he looked at any and everyone who worked in his store. Is there a product that you could be getting down? If so, do it. Even if it would block aisles or have customers complain. Just do it. While I will admit I commonly used my downtime to check my phone, I was 100% there for the customers when and if they needed me. If we had customers who needed us, I would be there even if it wasn't my department. But see, the more you work with the situation, most people say that you get complacent with the situation. However, me, the more I see the downsides to the situation. And that is why I quit. Over the months, I seen how we were forced to treat our customers. They were garbage in comparison to us, and they were just numbers to most of our staff. The staff itself was completely replaceable, and it was quite easy for them to come up with excuses for us to be replaced. So after I was kicked out of my parents' home, I was forced to look for another job. Finding one closer to where I, at the time, lived, I put my 30-second fuck you notice as I threw my shirts, badge, and gear on the counter and walked out. Was it right? No. Was it needed? Eh, depends on who you ask. About a month and a half after I quit, I went into the, at that time, local staples in my new town. Jen was there, and as far as I still know, she is still there. I started talking to her as an ex-employee and a now consumer, and found that she could be quite a lot less mean when uh, dealing with customers. I also found out in our little conversation that Mark had been investigating me 
for stealing upwards to $20,000 worth of tech equipment from the store. Wait, what? That's right, while no formal charges were ever filed, I never received my last paycheck from Staples, which at the time I hadn't noticed. And now I am most likely not eligible for many jobs because they feel that I did in fact steal that equipment and if they asked Mark, I was a no good fuck boy who would steal anything from any company. So the managers out there at Staples be more like Andy. Andy was my assistant manager who was friendly and kind to all his employees. He transferred out of our store because it was a better position. He ended up getting a store manager position at another store. But he told me in private that it was actually because of Mark. Andy was an asshole about everything. Mark was and still is. To potential employees of Staples, don't. Find a better job. If you don't fit into the corporate model of Staples, where you want nothing but to shove products, no matter how irrelevant, down customers' throat, then you should cancel your application now. Staples will try to ruin you, no matter how unfair it may seem, and they will ruin your career. But as an upside, you can be like me and make a video talking about how trash they are. Congrats, you made it to the end card. Hell, I made it to the end card. Woo! Now, just as a disclaimer, everything I say, obviously, treat as hearsay, um, because, you know, my word against theirs, you know, it's a thing. But I hate staples, not just because they nickel and dime their customers, but also because they are just a shit business. For what they offer, you can order it online for Amazon, get two-day free shipping with Amazon Prime, you can use the link in the video description, uh, and it's usually cheaper. And if you want a brick-and-mortar experience, you most of the time can just go into Walmart and buy it for cheaper, or buy it at the same price that Amazon is selling it for. I mean, the Walmart business model is no better. but. Unfortunately, it is the lesser of the two evils, in my opinion. I ended up getting a few customers from my work at Staples, though, so that was good, but unfortunately, they weren't to last. The customers ended up going their own ways after I left town and left at Staples. They probably asked where I was and got the whole lie of me stealing all the money. I will say, though, having 20,000 extra dollars worth of tech would be nice. Definitely will never happen anytime soon. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to wear your space seatbelts, and happy holidays.